Hello everyone, welcome back to my Unreal Engine tutorial series on how to create an open world game. So this time what I am going to do is, I am going to show you how to give different damage levels to different weapons. Uh, for example, with this sword, this uh, the the enemy that I the blue enemy that you can see in the screen has three health points, and the damage level per one hit of the sword is one, so that I can kill that enemy with three blows uh, or four blows because the health should be okay three blows and. For this axe, the damage level is 2. Therefore, I should be able to kill the enemy only with 2 blows. So, let's check it. 1, 2, 3. Right. So, with 3 blows, it required minimum 3 blows to kill the enemy. Now, let's try again with the axe. it didn't one two right with only two blows I could kill that guy so yeah that's what I am going to show you today and as always this episode is sponsored by these generous patreons thank you very much for the support you are giving me if you want to support my work you can go to patreon.com till na premiseri i'll put the link in the description and you can get the membership of my patreon club so based on the membership you get you will have the privileges like download in the source code and you can ask questions and stuff all right so let's get back to work all right so the first thing that I am going to customize or change for each weapon is the damage level. So for that, I'll open my character first. I wanted to show you where is the damaging happens. Under, it should be under in the attack event graph and under attack event graph I have this on weapon hit so here this update health this part is where I reduce the health level of the character based on the damage cost so Yeah, so here instead of uh, I have now it hard coded as one. So instead of doing that, what I should be doing is I should get the damage level from the enemy's weapon. So first, I define a variable in my weapon, not here. Yes, here in my weapon I'll create a variable to hold the damage level so I'll add a new variable it should be a float damage level or should I think of a better name well let's keep it like this for now I'll make it no I'll give it like this and the default value should be 1 and now so for the sword the damage level is 1 and for the axe I'll make it 2 where is it here I'll make this one 2 right and actually you can come up with you can put any value you need like floating point numbers with decimal points or anything but I'll just just for the sake of demonstration I'll keep it like 2 okay and now 
the next thing I should do is so how do I get that value here so for that first yes I have this source actor and from the source actor I if I have some method to get the damage value I yeah I can do something like this do I already have our an interface for these weapons yes I have right so here I'll define a new function get damage level and the output should be definitely a float and damage level I'll compile that and save it now in my melee weapon I have that function here I have to compile this first right now here I can return my damage level like this but here we only have a reference to source actor we don't have a reference to the enemy that we got uh, that hit us so in my ch human under bpi character i'll define a variable not a variable i'll define a function get weapon so I'm going to return the weapon of the character the weapon actor therefore this must be the type of factor and I'll name it weapon or current weapon compile save now and I didn't put it under fight did I yes now I should have a new function under fight in the interfaces as yeah I have to compile first now I got it get weapon current weapon so I have to return the current weapon okay now on weapon hit method right now here this is the source actor that the one who's attacking me so from this one I need to get current weapon wait how did I get it like that no I should use the interface get weapon like this okay and I'll get uh, some room here okay and after that get damage level right now it should work let's check this so this is how I'm gonna check it so for the sword the damage level is 1 and for the axe damage level is 2 so my characters this enemy characters health is 3 so if I am using sword I can kill the enemy character only after hitting him 3 times and when I am using the axe I should be able to kill the enemy 
uh, only with two blows so let's first check with the X one two now he is dead now let's check with the sword one two three no it didn't hit three right okay now he is dead so I think you get the idea and uh, that's all I am going to do for today and in the next episode and I think I I should work a little more on this the problems I we already have with this enemy AI actually I haven't thought about the next episode yet alright anyway thanks for watching and see you in the next episode goodbye